In this video, I wanna share my weekly dashboard inside of Notion that allows for me to have maximum productivity. Let's get it going. What's going on guys, Greg here, founder of Alt Agency at altagency.com. We train and coach agency owners and marketing and service providers on how to productize their service, grow, systematize, and scale. In the last like two years, we've fell in love with Notion inside of our business. I've binge watched all of the Notion videos as well. And we've kind of built our entire business operating system on Notion, but it all started with my weekly planner. It's sort of my weekly dashboard that allows me to kind of line up all the things that I want to get done, my big rocks, the you know, the top three things that I want to get done in the week, along with you know, when those are actually going to happen and as well as a, a weekly review. And I put all of this into a weekly template that I'll make available to you if you want. But for me, when it comes to weekly planning and the thing that I struggled with inside of tools like Notion is that it's a blank canvas and you can create anything you want. I had to start analog. Um, I love working on pen and paper and or on my iPad to kind of flesh certain things out. And so I realized that there is actually three phases that made up this entire process that I want to run through first before walking you through the template. So the first thing is to design your perfect week. And to me, the design your perfect week means set up the structure for when will certain things get done. The second thing is to then plan that week. So if you have this shell of like when you do certain activities, marketing activities, creating content, sales, you know, fulfillment, et cetera. It's good to have the shell, but each and every week, whether it's the Friday before or the Sunday before, I think planning the upcoming week beforehand is the best thing that you can do for yourself so that you roll right into Monday and you know exactly what you need to be focused on, when and where, and everything has its place. And the third piece, which we're not going to go too deep on today, is to actually look at your beginning of day, middle of day, and end of day rituals and or routines that will allow you to manage your energy so that you will be most productive doing those tasks and you're getting everything done without being completely exhausted. For me, all of this starts analog. And the first step is to design the structure. So we have this perfect week planner where I actually come in and we teach our clients essentially to do the same to map out the most important activities. And, you know, we'll start with things like personal. And so I know that, you know, I wake up really early and I take my kids to daycare every single day. So I'm not really in the office until 830. So my Monday through Friday, really until 830 a.m. is kind of in this yellow block. And to me, yellow is family and my morning routine. Now, I do do a little bit of work in the morning, but that's between five and 630. I try to work on one of the most important things, but I'm just trying to give you an example. And then you might have different days where, you know, for me, Mondays are team meetings. So I have different blocks or example of team meetings throughout my Monday. Then I also have client calls that I have where those are on Tuesday and also Thursday mornings. So that's client fulfillment. And hey, you probably want to eat lunch. You'll probably give a color to lunch. Maybe you eat lunch, you know, at noon, you know, most days of the week. Maybe that's how you work 30 minutes. And as you can see, you start filling in the structure of what sorts of things you do. When I didn't have a sales team, I had a lot of blocks on my calendar that would say, hey, like between nine and two, like I'm gonna have be doing sales activity or handling sales calls. I'm also gonna do that same thing on you know Wednesday and Thursday and then Friday morning. So that I'm making sure that there's plenty of time in the week to do sales. So as you can see, your week starts to fill in from a structure and then each of these blocks, depending upon the theme, you'd have different types of activities that you would be doing that are applicable for those blocks. Now, a key trick that I really like is to create themes for the day. And what we teach our clients as a starting point is to focus on two different kinds of activities, money making activities and management activities. You can think of money making as like front stage, the sales, the marketing, creating content. And then you can think of the manage of client fulfillment, admin, dealing with your team or contractors, things like that. Depending upon what your business looks like, we have a lot of clients that come in that are stuck in fulfillment and they need to shift to a new model. And so in the beginning, they might not be able to have, you know, three money making days in a week. So they do two money making and then they have three manage as a starting point. And then maybe they'll add some money making activities on you know, the first part of the morning on the weekend. So they get a little bit of time to, you know, be working on their business. Step one is to set the structure. When am I working on those certain activities? Then every single Sunday for me, and usually in my morning, my early before the kiddos wake up, I'm planning. 
This is a planning session where I'm looking at my structure and I'm looking at all of the things that I need to get done. And I'm now going into my Google calendar and filling in the actual tasks and projects that fit with the type of activity and the structure and the time blocks that I've created for myself. So what that looks like is this weekly dashboard. And again, I start analog. So I write out my big three, like these are my big rocks. Like if I only got three things done this week, this is my rock one, two, and three. I always like to keep my quarterly targets or annual targets, my top three, just written out so I'm used to seeing them. And then I'll kind of brain dump all of the to-dos that I need to do that week. Sometimes guys, there are scenarios where I do my big rocks first and the to-dos second, but there's also sometimes where I flip them around and it'll be easier for me to just unload all of my tasks and from there determine, oh, you know, this task is, you know, this is a rock. And so these end up being the rocks. Make sense? So how I look at the big three is if I only get these three things done this week, I'll have moved the business forward. So once I've done that, I have the big rocks and I have all of my tasks identified. I'm really just scheduling meetings with myself to do these things. And so if I know Monday is mostly team and I have a bunch of calls, I really only have a few blocks to get some tasks done. So I might take some light tasks and I assign them to Monday. And because my theme on Tuesday and Wednesday is money making and I do content, I'm going to make sure that all of my content is done on Tuesday and, you know, some marketing stuff is done on Wednesday. So any of the, if that's a big rock or in my tasks, I'm looking to assign them in and around that day. So every day I'm on Sunday, I'm saying, hey, this is where I'm going to be and what meeting I'm gonna be in with myself to do these tasks. Simple enough, right? At the end of every week, I look at my wins. So Friday, before I go home for the day, I look at my wins, look at my lessons, and I look at my roadblocks. This is my weekly review process. You can see, I often do this on this, this actual spreadsheet on my tablet. I go through waves. Sometimes I love analog and I print these out on paper. Sometimes I do it here. Sometimes I just keep it in Notion. Which brings me to doing this in Notion. So after I did this for a while, I said, why don't I recreate this whole dashboard inside of Notion? Now I've blurred out a couple of things here because I have some private stuff, but here's my dashboard. It looks probably very similar to the things that I just covered. So up here, I have my big three. I'll expand that and I keep my quarterly targets. I have a couple of key metrics that I'm looking at. And then you see all of my tasks. Now this, these tasks here, these are tied to a master task database. And I just use the filters here to see the ones for the week at hand. And all I do now is I drag from these tasks into the respective day. And when they're complete, I can check them off. And so sometimes I know I'm going to be working on a task for a couple of days. For example, we have our end of year meeting. Um, so team annual meeting this Thursday and Friday. So it gets both days. So as you can see, it shows up on both days. For example, I need to call the IRS. So I could drag this to Thursday as well. And now you'll see that it's associated to that day. And I scroll this over to Saturday and Sunday, but typically I'll leave the view through Monday and Friday. So every single Sunday, I'm coming to Notion, setting up my week. Um, you can see that this is for December 12th through the 18th of 2021. And these are the tasks that I'm trying to get done and I'm assigning them to, to certain dates. And again, you can only get so much done in a day. And some of these things are more important than others. And I'll now know what to say yes to and what to say no to if new opportunities arise. And at the end of the week, usually on Fridays, I'll do my weekly review and I will do uh, you know a few great things that happened. What did I learn last week about myself, others, and or the progress? List one decision that I could have made differently. And then what were my main struggles? And then if I mentored someone dealing with the same things, what would I tell them to do? It's a really good question to really kind of coach yourself, if you will. Now, if you want this, I've made a template for you. It all starts with kind of the weekly agenda dashboard, but you'd come in here and you can click on new and choose this week. And then you'll see it populate into the same format. Again, you'll need to make sure you have, we have dummy tasks in here, but you'll need to create a tasks database if you don't already. So that's how I use Notion to plan my weeks. It's allowed me to be super productive. The mobile app is super friendly. The iPad app is really friendly. And guys, I've been through just about every single project management tool out there. And once I started using this, I fell in love with it because you can really make it look exactly like the paper that I took you through that I designed. So this is how I set up my weeks. This is how I stay productive. Hope you found this useful. If you want this Notion template, I put a link in the description below. You can just give me your name and your email. We'll email it your way. You can copy and paste it into your Notion and be off to the productivity 
races, as they say. Hope you enjoyed this. Give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.